So we just got back yesterday from a week in Tennessee visiting Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg. Ruby, I guess, got tired of the narrating already. <laughs> but we arrived back and found some mail waiting for us. So I thought I'd take a couple minutes here and open up the mail. Not a lot, got a padded envelope. Three black envelopes, which are very mysterious. And then this one actually arrived just before we left. So I'm gonna start off with the black envelopes, uh, partially because they've all got wax seals on them, but one of the wax seals is partially broken, so I haven't opened this one yet. Uh, the sad thing is I had actually gotten an email or a note about these right before I left, and I can't find it, but it said something about an order to open it in, and I can't find it. I'm gonna go wrong order more than likely. I'm gonna start off with the one with the broken seal and then we'll go with the purple and then the gold. So I hope that works for whoever sent it because there's no names on it. Right, Ginger? Okay. So this one has a letter and I got smart this time after the last one. I've got my reading glasses. So let's see if I can read all of this here because that's a lot of writing. Let's see here. Dear George, it's Ben again. This letter is all about my magic, magical experience at Disneyland. Let's see. Let's see. Recently, my family took a trip to Disney. And normally, I'd rush to ride every ride as much as possible. But I decided to forego the rides and spend time with characters. I had a great time with all the characters I saw, like the princesses, Gaston, uh, Fasilier, etc. But the magic really happened when I met the Mad Hatter. He was wandering around Edelweiss Snacks by the Matterhorn. As I walked up to him, he called me out, he called me over, and said he was having a tea party and I was invited. There were about three others that joined as well, and the whole party was an interactive skit with singing and the like. Never in my life had, have I had an experience so personal and fun with characters. But that wasn't where it ended. At the tea party, I happened to mention I liked to act and sing. So on our last day I saw him again, but this time he was with Alice. He saw me, recognized me, and proceeded to tell Alice all about our tea party and how I like to act and sing. So, of course, he thought it'd be a good idea to have me sing for them in front of the entire 40-plus -person, person, 40 person line. I felt really anxious, but when I sang the first few notes of um, Out There from Hunchback, I was totally fine belting out, while the, belting out the whole thing. The characters and guests loved it, and that day I left with the biggest smile on my face. Since then, I've been extremely excited to go back. So that's basically the whole story. Thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for always making me love what I do. Till next time, Ben Thornburg. So now we know who the letters are from. Cool story. Mad Hatter's one of my favorite characters, and that's one of the reasons why. He gets to do some crazy things. Okay, purple seal now. And now that I saw the name on the letter, I think I remember where the message was from that I didn't look. Because <laughs> Ben is one of my patrons on Patreon. If you want to know more about Patreon and supporting me, check it out. There's a link in the description below, and I'll try and get a little flash banner up above, too. So here's another one from him. Make sure I'm not missing anything in there. Let's see. Dear George, Sir Willow. Let's see. I apologize for the over-the-top presentation of this letter, but it's my hobby. I first saw your videos around last November and was instantly hooked. I was already in love with the parks, and you only made me enjoy them even more. That's cool. Next spring, I'll hopefully be participating in the Disney College program over in Orlando, where I'll be learning about Mickey, about marketing. But you'll learn about Mickey, too. <laughs> no matter what, I'll always keep acting in musicals. Uh, it's what I love to do. I remember you wished me luck on my opening night of Back to the 80s, and I sent you some pictures. Currently, I'm in the Hunchback of Notre Dame, which is so much more complicated and choir-intensive than anything I've ever done. Complex and choir-intensive. You always make my day a little brighter, and my friends and I saving money in order to visit Silver Dollar City someday and stay in a cabin there. And who knows? We might see you there. Keep up the great videos. Sincerely, Ben Thornburg. And some doodles he made when Park Tales first aired. So you can see Donald and Goofy, and uh, I've seen a few people look a little bit like that. And then his last one, so I don't want to break the seals. 
because that's just cool to have a wax seal. Oh, that's cool. Baby poo. You know, one of the things I used to tell people when they would eat at Crystal Palace is it's the one place you can play with poo while eating. Okay, bad joke. My son's behind the camera cringing at me right now. I'm allowed to tell jokes like that. <laughs> okay, this next one is from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And... Try to get the letter first. Dear Sir Willow, thank you for posting videos on YouTube. I enjoy watching them. Your recent videos of day trips around your area remind me of all the places my dad used to take my family when we kids were little. I've enclosed a brochure for Hershey Park for the 2017 season and a Philadelphia Zoo map for summer 2017. Sincerely, Tiffany. Say hi to your wife and family. Your videos are extra fun when they are included. Hi. So you can hear Joseph back there. And there is the Philadelphia Zoo map and the Hershey Park map. Thank you so much. Those will go great in the collection, especially since I haven't been to either one. So that's going to be fun to look over the Hershey Park map and go, wow, it'd be nice to go there. So thank you. And then the last one for this one is I drop it. This is from Strasburg, Pennsylvania. And I have no idea what's in this. Hi, Sir Willow. I would like to start off this letter by saying thank you. I hope you realize how much your confession of a theme park worker videos help soon to be applying to the Disney College Program students such as myself. I found your videos during my March 2017 spring break, and I've been watching ever since. Unfortunately, I find it's not often that former cast members on YouTube are so positive about their experiences. Maybe it's because the people I usually watch were former DCP participants, so they have a different point of view more than a more seasoned adult like yourself. Regardless of the reason, I relate and gain more knowledge from your videos than most of the ones recorded by young adults around my age. I can't help it. I love Disney. I love theme parks. I have since I was younger than you. So I, I feel bad for the people who hate or just find things wrong. I think you can tell from the fact that I spent my sophomore spring break at home watching your videos that I'm not an average 19-year-old. Unlike some that participate, the, 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 <laughs> unlike some that participate in the Disney College program, I plan on making Walt Disney World into a career. I'm currently working on getting my AA in humanities and then a BA in communication, since I desire to work in the hotel and resort sector of Walt Disney World. My top three roles for the DCP are children's resort recreation, resort front desk, and lastly, character attendant. It was through watching your videos that I found the role of character attendant a suitable choice. You mentioned in one of your confessions that PhotoPass photographers are very similar in role responsibilities to character attendants. So from then on, I watched your PhotoPass videos with the mindset of a possible character attendant. Some of them, yes. Um, I don't know if they train the new ones as much in that, but I took that on as part of my role in the early days. So. You have helped me greatly by being just a kind person with a positive attitude towards the role. Although I plan on being a Disney World cast member, I have also gained insight through your other confession videos, especially Silver Dollar City. I especially love the ones where you tell stories about odd, rude, or otherwise peculiar guests in parks. Those help to provide, to provide me with an understanding of the people I will be encountering and to expect the unexpected, especially when guests forget to pack their brains, as you say. And it happens a lot. The reason I am reaching out to you is because I am sending you a gift. I recently opened a shop on Etsy called Faith, Trace Creation, Faith Trust Creations. In my shop, I sell handmade rosaries and prayer beads. I know you're a Christian and pastor, so I made you a one-of-a-kind design. The color scheme was inspired by your former boss, Mickey Mouse. To make the cross, center connector piece, and six large beads, I used a two-part epoxy resin that must be mixed in precise amounts for it to cure properly. The chain was also completely handmade by myself, stringing the beads one by one onto the wire and then hand-twisting the loops. Each rosary I make takes several days of work, and I am my only employee. I feel that I am gain, gaining valuable marketing and guest communication experience that is so vital for walking Walt, working at Walt Disney World. I hope you appreciate and cherish your rosary since it was especially made for you. I plan on, on applying for the Disney College program later this month in hopes of getting accepted for the 2018 spring semester program. 
I can only pray that I come away with just as many positive experiences as you speak of in your videos every week. You have blessed many people, and not just ones you've dealt with in person, but many others who tune into Confessions of a Theme Park Worker or Park Tales on the YouTube app. Sir Willow, I cannot say thank you enough for all the knowledge and amazing stories you broadcast online. You clearly love what you do when it shows. Thank you for the amazing videos you posted so far and all the ones that will be filmed in the future. Miss Ferrari. Wow. Handmade rosary. Okay, this is Faith Trust Creations on Etsy. I want to make sure I get that name out there so you all can go order. Little opening to do. Yeah, Joseph's giving a drum roll. So there's the business cards, Faith Trust Creations. It's coming. See if I can get it. That's beautiful. That is gorgeous. So thank you so much, Miss Ferrari. I appreciate that. If you're looking for a handmade rosary or something, look them up, Faith Trust Creations on Etsy. Very cool. Thank you so much to everybody who wrote. I appreciate the letters and the fan mail. It, it, it makes it wonderful and even more than worthwhile to do the videos. So thank you so much for watching. And Ginger says goodbye. And thank you, too. Don't attack the phone, Ginger. Ha, 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 ha.